Yeah, good evening all. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. E. Raju from Genius Mind Computer Academy. Welcome to Python program lecture series. So today in this video, we'll write a Python program to calculate compound interest value. So first let us understand how compound interest is calculated mathematically. So the formula for calculating compound interest. So first we calculate the amount A is equals to principal multiplied by principal of 1 plus or rate of interest divided by 100 then whole to the power of T where this P indicates principal amount and R indicates rate of interest. And T indicates time and this time period you must provide in terms of years. And the value A calculated represents the amount to be paid. Then the compound interest, say CI, can be calculated using the formula amount minus principal. So this is the final formula to calculate the compound interest. So using this formula, calculate the compound interest. So hope you understood all the parameters in this formula. So let us write a program to calculate this compound interest using Python programming language. So if you have already installed Python, you open IDLE Integrated Development and uh, Learning Environment. Uh, in search, you type IDLE, you'll get the IDLE. So open IDLE. So this opens the IDLE. So click here, file on file, then new file, click the new file. So this opens a new window where you can type your Python program. Okay, so here we type our Python program, right? So we need to read three parameters from the keyboard. Okay, so principal, rate of interest and time period. Given these three values, our program should calculate compound interest value. Okay, so let us first ask the user to enter principal value. Okay, so you can use the full name principal or you can also use short name here. Okay, say P indicates principal here and ask the user to enter to this principal value from the keyboard. So to read input from the keyboard in Python, we have a function called as a input and uh, here you pass the message or prompt message that is enter principal. Okay, so this is how using input function, you can display a message and also the function reads the value entered from the keyboard. But here the problem with input function is whatever we enter from the keyboard that is read as a string. Okay, so even if you enter a number that will be taken as a string. So you need to convert that uh, string into integer. So to convert the string into integer, we have another function called as a int in Python, okay? So say int of, then input of this message here. So this is how we can write a, or read an input value from the keyboard in Python, okay? So this indicates that whatever is read by input function, that value or that string is converted into integer type. Okay, so this is how we can write the statement. Then the next uh, value to be read is rate of interest. So similarly, you write the same kind of statement. 
enter then you say input then ask the user to enter rate of uh, interest double quotes close then close the function here similarly read the next parameter time so say int of input then say enter time double quotes close then close here okay so then calculate the amount here say a equals to principal multiplied by one plus or divided by hundred then hold to the power t okay so in python for exponentiation we use double asterisk we use double asterisk and this double asterisk is used as a exponentiation operator so in python we have this exponential operator and we can use this operator then followed by the parameter t okay so this indicates that one plus this indicates one plus r by hundred whole to the power t this is the expression that we write uh, in python okay so this calculates the amount to be paid and finally you write the formula for calculating compound interest say compound interest is equal to amount minus principal okay so then print the value so by using print statement we can print uh, to standard output in python so here you print some message here say compound interest is equals to double quotes close then put comma then give the variable value that is to be printed here okay so then ci is the value to be printed then close that's all so in python you can use the variables directly here okay so since python is a dynamically typed language okay so the type of uh, this variable will be decided based on the value assigned to that variable okay so that's why no need to give any type uh, for this variable okay so that indicates that no need to declare the variable first in python so we can use the variables directly in python code okay so now after completing your program save your program click on file then click on save okay so give a name to your program so i am giving my program name as compound underscore interest so the type is python file that means automatically it will be saved with a dot uh, py extension okay so click on save now your program is saved okay so to run this code there is a run button here click on run button and run module f5 key you can use here okay so click on run module then your program is run okay now you can see there is an error here okay so it is showing the error also so left parenthesis was never closed okay so this is the error shown here okay so that means for this left parenthesis there is no balanced right parenthesis here okay so that's why it is giving left parenthesis was never closed okay so click on okay here go back to the same statement and close the parenthesis here okay so we opened that parenthesis left parenthesis there but we have not provided right parenthesis here okay so type right parenthesis again save your program file then say save okay so again go to run and click on run module now you can see your program is running here now it is asking the user to enter principal so i enter the principal amount 
five thousand enter rate of interest okay so my rate of interest is five okay so time period three years i am entering okay so then it prints compound interest value is equals to seven eighty eight point one two five zeros followed by nine okay so this is how you can calculate compound interest using a python program so here what we did is we have used exponential operator for calculating the this uh, amount to be paid here okay so there is other way of uh, writing this exponentiation okay so that is by using a power function okay so i'll show you how to write the same expression using a power function okay so in python i keep this uh, uh, in comments in python we use this uh, hash or pound symbol for commenting a, a statement okay so then this will be treated as a comment line okay so then i write uh, using the power function okay so we have a function in python i'll write here so there is a power function p o w okay so then it takes two arguments x comma y x comma y okay so this indicates that x to the power y this indicates that x to the power y value is calculated and it returns the value and that value you can calculate in some other variable some z z is equals to x to the power of y okay so now we can use this power function also for calculating x to the power y value so how we can use this power function now you say amount is equals to principal multiplied by multiplied by so p o w function power function of okay so to this power function we pass this as argument 1 plus or divided by 100 okay and here this extra parents is not required here 1 plus or divided by 100 comma then the second parameter is t okay so we'll see so it is equivalent to 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power t so this way we can use pow function also for calculating x to the power y kind of a values okay so then from the next statement it calculates compound interest and then from the print statement it prints the compound interest value here so let us run the code first uh, save our program save the program then go to run and click on run module now it is asking to enter principal value we'll try to use the same values so let us see whether it displays correctly or not so enter time three years okay so then you can see 788.125 zeros followed by nine so this is how we can calculate compound interest value in two ways by using power function or you can also use exponential operator asterisk asterisk those who have not installed uh, python in your systems okay so then you can use online python compiler okay so i'll show you how to open online python compiler and uh, just uh, go to your browser and in your browser you type in search bar online python compiler okay so then you can use this uh, online gdb python compiler okay so 
you can remove everything. This first one indicates three single quotes. Okay, so beginning here and three single quotes ending here. Okay, so this is a multi line comment. This is another way of uh, writing comments. Okay, so whereas this pound or hash symbol indicates a single line comment. Okay, and multi line comments you can write in this way. Okay, so better remove everything from this uh, editor here. Okay, so then I'll copy paste this program from here. Then I'll go back to my online compiler. Okay, so I'll paste the code here. Okay. Right, perfect. So now you click on this run button to execute this program. So now see at the bottom window, it is asking you to enter principal amount. So I entered the same thing, 5,000 rate of interest five and time period is three, three years. Now you can see compound interest 788.125 zeros followed by nine. Okay, so perfect. We got the same answer from online compiler also. Okay, so that means our code is correct. And friends here in Python, indentation is very, very important. That means white spaces are very significant in Python. Okay, so even if you give by mistake a space here. Okay, so then you can see how Python gives the error here. Okay, so if you type a, after giving one space, the next line here, there is a C, what kind of error it gives. Now you can see here. Okay, so indentation error, unexpected indent. Okay, so that's why every line should start uh, from the first column onwards. Okay, so you should type from the first column onwards. By mistake, like in other languages, if you give some white spaces, then Python won't accept indentation, it follows. Okay, so that's why white spaces are significant in uh, Python. Okay. So these kind of errors you may encounter if you provide unnecessary white spaces. So friends, hope uh, you understood how to write a Python program to calculate compound interest value. So in next video, we'll see one more Python program for solving uh, another kind of a uh, problem. So if you like this lecture, so please subscribe to my channel. Kindly share this video among your friends group. Thank you one and all.